one downside to the Surface Pro <clears throat> is that with the keyboard, you can't like wrap the keyboard around the back and then hold it as you would like a Kindle, for example. You just kind of kind of take the keyboard off. Anyway, that's completely irrelevant. While my laptop's loading, hey everybody, welcome to the November Reading Ramble. It's gonna be a short one today. I have my notes on Notion, uh, standing, microphone, love this little setup here. I'm talking about my podcast at the end of this, one I, for some reason, I'm just, I finally set in motion. I haven't read much this month. I was in Brazil for about 11 days. There was about 25 hours of travel on either side of that where I could have read so much, but liminal space. I'm gonna also be hanging stuff up eventually. I'm just waiting for, what, can you? Just waiting for stuff to come in. Most of the commands just from Amazon. Anyway, it's November 29th. I can't believe I'm recording this before the month is over. Usually I wait till I have some books finished. I finished what I talk about when I talk about running all around. I enjoyed it. I talked about this book a lot in the last reading ramble. I'm just going to say the two notes that I have here. It's like a more, it's like the opposite of David Goggins. The same principles of doing things despite pain and working through troubles and staying consistent and like disciplined by yourself and using running as a medium for discipline, but not being super intense and destroying yourself in the process kind of thing. God, the framing's so bad because the ceiling looks tilted. The camera is tilted like this on the floor bruh that's no it's got to be a perspective thing right because i'm not straight onto the wall and therefore it's slanted yeah it's not that slant. i'm pretty sure my apartment is kind of slanted okay anyway oh i forgot to put something on the whiteboard whatever yeah and then oh it was nice to read about this from someone who doesn't like run professionally and uh murakami still running i'm aiming for a very similar thing i'm not gonna go run professionally but i still want to do running started doing muay thai I went to a first class last night. My shoulder didn't, you know, fall apart and collapse. That was, why do I keep putting this down? Uh, I read this book so long ago, so I don't have too much to say on it. The two books I was reading this month, uh, Letters from a Stoic, Seneca, uh, and Steppenwolf. So when it comes to Seneca, Stoic philosophy, I do, I do miss it quite a bit. I have two little notes here that I guess I wanted to follow up on. I'm not that far in. The JLPTs this weekend, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a good excuse for why I'm not reading. Page 15 on self-sufficiency. Oh yeah. So I come back to Seattle and I'm like, Hmm, I don't really have that many friends. I have a few people I've been talking to and I realize I need to put more, more effort into those, you know, make those into friendships. F on philosophy and friendship, no matter how much someone is sufficient into themselves, they still desire friends. The stoic analogy was, uh, you know, the wise man or whatever. If he loses an arm, he does not spend time missing that arm. Works with it. If I'm missing an arm or broke my shoulder and I can't use my right arm, sufficient without it. However, you know, it'd still be nice to have. Same thing with friends. I can be self-sufficient on my own, but there's still a desire for friends there. It's almost like I'm human and I'm a social creature. On page 16, there was a note. I have some highlights in here. I could just make a whole one video just going through. It could be like a whole hour. Maybe that's, a, you know, in a podcast episode. This book is Letters to Lucilius, which I guess is like his mentee, Seneca's mentee. And it's like life lessons to Lucilius, and we kind of get those. And it's really easy to read in tidbits, unlike The Will to Power by Nietzsche, which I have over there, uh, out of frame. Cool. Is this chair in the way? No, it's like perfectly below. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's so many videos on Stoic philosophy and I'm sure so many on this one book alone. I could just go through my highlights or some stuff on goals. The big thing I'll just say is that when you when you talk about or read Stoic philosophy, it just feels very, not watered down, the opposite of watered down, like very straight to the point, motivational speaking. You know, time's not gonna last forever. You're not always gonna be lucky, yada, yada. Go do things, make the most of your time. Be grateful for what you have and go for it. It's it's not someone who's fluffing it up with words and, and screaming at you and giving you all this motivational speaking. I mean, it's philosophy. It grounds you in something else. And so philosophy is just a nice entrance because it doesn't do it too intensely. Whereas nihilism is kind of a lot, he says as he walks out of frame. And then the next book I'm reading, I only, I've like only finished the foreword, but it's Steppenwolf. This book is like, I think there are a certain subset of people who can definitely relate with this book. I think in some sense I can relate a part of my life to it. So going into the rest of the book with that perspective will be interesting. I hate the word interesting. Going into the rest of the book with that perspective will be kind of biased in the sense that I'll connect with certain parts and other parts will probably go right over my head kind of thing. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to say too much. Bada -bada -ba. Uh, again, lack of reading in general. I'm not going to hold it against myself. I, this is... I need to put tape over the light. I am kind of... I've kind of come back from Brazil with this, this notion of... Oh, there's a squirrel on the... Nice. Wow, that was literally a squirrel moment. <laughs> the good energy for the reading ramble. Maybe I shouldn't have concocted this caffeinated beverage. I did it and then I, I just brushed my teeth right before this. So whoops, what was I saying? Yeah, lack of reading in general, came back from Brazil and I just had this, this deep sense of not wanting to return to who I was before I had left Brazil. Please focus. Who, what are you looking at? Thank you. Um, 
you can see yourself in different lights and I, I'm not gonna talk about that too much. Uh, I haven't quite finished thinking about it. I just know that when I got back, I didn't want to be the person who still wakes up, watches TV every morning before I stand up. So, you know, I've used cold turkey now to, to block YouTube every single day except Sunday from 12 a.m. to 11 p.m. Not that I'm gonna be staying up past 11 p.m. I finally started Muay Thai and it looks like I'll be able to do that three days a week. I wanna start Kendo, which is two days a week. Things are in a close enough proximity that it's, it's you know, not inconvenient. In the mornings, these first two mornings, I've finally gotten to doing my morning, like articular rotations. This is just my life at this point. And it's just a really basic calisthenic five exercises that those things combined take me, you know, half an hour, 35 minutes. And I just listened to a podcast while I was doing it. But yeah, I just hadn't been reading. And now, you know, Instagram blocked, Facebook blocked, Twitter blocked, YouTube blocked, Netflix blocked, everything blocked until 6 p.m. pretty much. I can, you know, allow myself to procrastinate by reading, which is cool. I'm no longer, I feel like I'm hung up on Twitter. I was definitely way too addicted for a week. I'm, I'm not reading any more light novels at the moment. I, I do want to read Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak because that's, I don't think it's nonfiction, but it's Steppenwolf right now is kind of the fiction nonfiction I'm, I'm looking to read. It's not like a thriller or anything. It's it's still fiction and it's it's a story. It's not object and list by list like Letters from a Stoic, but I probably will get around to mid draft this month. So yeah, I'm just going to change the November books to December books. And then future reading rambles will contain Japanese. I do. The JLPT is next weekend. I over the course of this week, I'm still going to be doing the review book, still going to be doing my flashcard reviews, not as intensely, and just adapting to the lifestyle that I want to keep up the next year. So this is unrelated to reading at this point. Yeah, I'm curious to see how the habit of blocking things and reading is procrastination being okay works out in terms of number of books read. Originally, well, I guess it was like almost last November, if you will. Definitely not true. Maybe March or April, where I was like, I'm going to only drink caffeine when I read. All of a sudden, it's because I sat down to read every day, books just started finishing, and I started getting far enough in books that I was motivated to finish them and whatever. It's not sitting down and being like, okay, I'm going to read one, one, I'm going to read 15 pages today. Don't do that. Just sit down and read. Now it's less linking it with caffeine, which I still think is kind of a cool thing to do. And more, it's my only mode of procrastination. So if I don't want to, or don't feel like working, I don't really want to go lie down. I'm not going to go on Discord and try to talk to whatever is going on, but just reading. That's okay. And that's my leisure. And then um, lastly, I think the December reading ramble, the JLPT is over. I don't really... I have to sit down and really analyze myself for this. December is probably going to be my favorite books of the year, I guess. What is my Goodreads at? Um, okay, so 35 books completed. My goal for the year is 40. And I definitely think doing five books in the next month is doable. So let's just, I don't know. I'll just throw them out there. Steppenwolf, Seneca's Letters from a Stoic, finishing the Japanese folktales, whatever. I'm not going to say that because December will hopefully, maybe likely, maybe contain my favorite books of the year as opposed to doing a whole separate video on that. Just make a reading ramble about it. And I'll be in London. So I kind of got to bring the mic with me at the very least. <sighs> and yeah, that's it. So if you, if you like this long, not long, this is not long form content, but I am starting a podcast. It's either going to be called Fractured Thoughts or Notes on My Fractured Thoughts. It's just going to be like the video, I keep forgetting what it's called, but uh, it was the last one uploaded, I think. It's going to be every Monday at 4 a.m. Pacific time. So we're just going to see how it goes. I have a few format things laid out, uh, kind of, I don't know, it'll be fun to do every single week. The initial goal I'm setting out for myself is just once a week for a year. Every, you know, just every single week, even if I'm not feeling it, so to speak, um, the first episode will likely be on liminal space and living in liminal space. If you have no idea what that means, make sure to check it out. If you have... I don't know, questions. I'll leave the email in the description, but it's fractured thinking at proton.me. I want to eventually have like a, at the end, I'll answer a question or two. Uh, I did this video game therapy thing and it's kind of like that, but with a slight more production. That's just a preliminary thing. If, you, if you're watching, thanks. If, if you're curious, if, if there's anything you'd like to see from a one person podcast, we'll see. It's literally just something to do uh, because I like speaking in this way. Thanks for watching and or listening to this day's reading ramble, this month's reading ramble. I almost didn't make it seeing as I haven't really finished a book this month. I think it's still important to make it because sometimes this is, you know, this is the bare minimum for me to upload. It's a good accountability thing, like just saying, hey, haven't read that much this month. And if that happens, that's okay. Find a time to get back to reading. Putting aside time to read worked fine or doing it with another habit was working really well. It's snowing, which is why I keep looking at the window. Do you know if, you, if you're someone who works better with reading one chapter every week or whatever, do that. Read because you enjoy it, enjoy the process. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. If I don't see you in the first episode of the Fractured Thinking Podcast, I'll see you next month. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. Peace out.